Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on Vagabond and we're working on page two. Um, so we're gonna start with um, an eight, well, I guess, seven and three quarter by nine and three quarter panel that um, has been wrapped with cardstock. And this is gonna be the base page, okay? The first thing we're gonna install is a large flap on the right hand side of the base panel and this is eight and a half by nine and three quarters and you're going to score at half inch and seven eighths of an inch so it's got a, a gusset on it okay and I'm just dry fitting it real quick to make sure it's going to fit on my base page it looks like I need to trim it a little because I don't want it to hang off the edge Three quarters. Let's see how much do I need to trim it? Hmm, a little bit. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta let my dog in. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I, I actually the paper wasn't trimmed right. It should be eight and a half by uh, nine and three quarters. And again, you're gonna score twice. And it looked like I had only trimmed it out to nine and seven eighths. So should fit now. It does. Now we're going to... There it is. Attach it to the right-hand side of your base uh, page, which is a uh, covered chipboard. There we go. And as you can see, we've got um, a little bit of a gusset right there. So that's gonna open. To the right, and now we are going to install some of the internal features. Let's start with this bottom feature. This is a large flap. It's seven and three quarters by seven and a half. Seven and three quarters by seven and a half. You're gonna score a half inch on the seven and a half inch side. And that is going to be your low, lower flap. And I actually I want to dry fit it to make sure it's going to fit inside this uh, flap and that the flap will close and that this doesn't hang past. So I think I'm going to have to trim. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to trim a little bit off because this gusset is taking up some space. Otherwise, this is going to hang off. So it looks like I need to take about a sixteenth of an inch off. So do check before you put it down, um, rest it on there, close your flap, and then make sure that your uh, the flap that you're applying down here does not hang past the edge. So there's a little bit of extra trimming that goes along with this. That was not quite enough, a little bit more. And it's looking like I'm winding up trimming this down to seven and five eighths. So I started with seven and three quarters and it looks like I, I wound up taking about an eighth of an inch off. So hopefully that helps you with your, and that's that's gonna do it. So it's really winding up being seven and, sorry. So I said that wrong. I started with seven and three quarters and I wound up with seven and five eighths. Seven and five eighths. But I'm gonna have in the cut list seven and three quarters, so I want you guys to do that test because depending on where this hinge is, you may not need to trim that much off or you might need to trim a little more. Okay, that's in. So that's the lower flap. On top of the lower flap is going to be a pocket. And it looks like I have to readjust my pocket because I just trimmed this down. This is now a little bit too wide. So I'm gonna put a little mark on here. I got in here without a pencil. Just gonna put a little dot here and then move my score line over. Now 
Not much, a little bit. Okay. And then I'll tell you what this is when I'm ah, finished. Okay, so uh, you know what, I think I might want to start over. Yeah, I'm going to start over. So I'm going to show you how, to, how I'm going to do this. So let's just start with a clean sheet of paper. And it needs to be roughly eight and three quarters by four and a quarter, but we're going to trim it down just perfect in a second. Eight and three quarters, so, and then that's four and a quarter. Okay. So that's four and a quarter. We're going to score down half inch, and then we're going to do a half inch on this side. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this side in. I'm gonna use my bone folder to make it nice and crisp. Now, I'm gonna lay it on top of the flap that I'm measuring it for. And then I'm going to put a little tick mark here and that's where I want my score line. And I don't have a pencil, so I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna put a little indentation in the paper right here. And that's where we're going to score it. And hopefully I can still see it. Yeah, I can. So I'm going to line that little uh, indentation up with a score channel and score right there. And I'll tell you what it is when I'm done. Ooh, maybe. I'm having a hard time seeing. Yep, there it is. I'm going to turn off my excess. Okay, so this wound up being eight and five eighths. I scored at half inch and eight and one eighth. Half inch, eight and one eighth. And I'm gonna write that down. And it's eight and five eighths by four and a quarter. And you're going to score it half inch and eight and one eighth. Or if you if you just measure this to eight and five eighths, you're going to score a half inch on three sides. That'll get you the same result. Okay, now I need to trim this and miter it, and then we're going to add this pocket to the bottom flap. I am not used to um, doing this folio style with adding these large flaps that go over everything that have a gusset on them, so I'm definitely struggling um, with getting my measurements right because I'm so used to doing albums where everything is attaching. It's not closing up like a, sort of like a clamshell, so to speak. Anyway, it's, it's an adjustment. Just doing a little housekeeping. Let's get our score tape on here. Okay. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there and hold that flap down. Just a dot. Whoops. I just changed, well, I just cleaned and added glue, so it was flowing a little stronger than I expected. Okay. Now I'm just going to press this down and get that flange to hold. Then we're going to add it to the bottom of this flap. There we go, so now we have a pocket in this flap. And I have created um, these bifold cards with the cut aparts, and they're actually gonna go into this pocket. So that's what this was designed for. And um, I just measured this and, um, and trimmed it out to fit specifically for this card. I can tell you the measurements, but you'll probably want to adjust it based on how your card looks. It's seven and a half. by five and three quarters, seven and a half by five and three quarters. And you're gonna score at three and three quarters. Okay, so, but like I said, you're probably gonna wanna, and it doesn't even have to be a bifold if you just wanna do a, uh, a photo mat, a single photo mat, you can do that. But I went ahead and um, did this on three of them, so the, at least two of them will go in this pocket. Okay, so the next thing is the top down flap. And just like the bottom one, I'm probably gonna to need to adjust this slightly. So we're gonna lay it in. We're gonna close and make sure it's not pushing the panel out. It looks like it is just a little, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit. I think it took about an eighth of an inch off and now it looks good. Okay, so it started at seven and three quarters by five, score half inch on the five inch side. And then I wound up trimming it down just a little bit. So it is seven and five eighths, seven and five eighths. I'm actually gonna adjust that. I think that's probably gonna be the standard. And I'm updating it on here because when I go to make my cut list, I I look back at my notes here. And that's seven, or yeah, I already updated that. And this needs to be updated as well. Let me get my black pen. So this was seven and five eighths by seven and a half. Okay, I should have tested this before I sat down today, but I'm just, so far, uh, sorry about that. But hopefully you guys got all that. The banners will not have both measurements, they'll have the adjusted measurement. Okay, and this is gonna be a top-down panel. There we go. Okay, so that is what this is gonna look like. And then we're not gonna use any magnets because that's gonna, these should hold it in place. We're gonna have a couple. At least I'm not planning to put a magnet in. I'm, I'm planning to use these, um, these inserts to hold everything in place. Okay, so that's done. So now the last thing is we're gonna have um, two flaps on the inside. They're gonna go left and right, like so. And these are trimmed out to specifically to feature these items on the inside. So we're gonna go left and right, we're gonna go center. So I am gonna take a break and go get a pencil because I need to find my center line. All right, thanks everybody for hanging in there with me. Okay, so let's find the center line of the flaps first. So it wound up being two and seven eighths 
from the top to the center, two and seven eighths. So we've got that. I'm just gonna line the second one up off the first one. So now we need to find the center line here. And that looks like it's four and seven eighths from the edge to the center. Four and seven eighths from the edge to the center. But if you have a Tim Holtz ruler, it's easy enough to find that on your own. Okay, we'll go ahead and add these flaps. And then the second one is going to go on the opposite side. And I'm going to line it up from, from this one here. So you want to make sure you're clear of your score line so that your top panel will close. Okay. There we go. All right, that looks good. I'm just gonna close like that, like that. And then we will have um, these, and I might even put another insert in here, um, a larger one, maybe a taller one. So we'll see. But for now, uh, that's what I have. And if I do decide to add another insert, I will, I will put it in the cut list. And again, for now, I'm not planning on using any magnets here. We're gonna use inserts in the pocket to keep this closed. And that is page two. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. When we get back together, we're gonna decorate this. Hey everyone, um, we're continuing to work on page two, Lady Vagabond, and I've got my A-sides trimmed out, so we're gonna get those put in, then I'll take a quick break and we'll line up the B-sides. Um, I still haven't completely decided what I'm going to do with this top flap inside and out because I need to get through more of the book and see how much paper I have left. So for the time being, I am not going to decorate that flap, but I do have, like I said, the papers trimmed out <coughs> for the A-sides <coughs> inside the book. So I'm going to do my best to tell you where the paper is coming from. This is coming from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And I'm gonna use this to help me visually get it centered. So again, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack, uh, Lady Vagabond. <clears throat> kind of looks the same either way, but I think I like it this way better. So it kind of cascades down one way a little more than the other. All right. I hope everybody's doing well. <sighs> I have gotten off to a very, very slow new year. Craft-wise, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just kind of taking a little bit of a creative break, I guess. Um, <clears throat> following this album, I'll be working on Blossom, which is a Graphic 45 collection, which came out a little while ago. I just haven't been able to get to it. Okay, so there's our A side there. Down here, this is from the 8x8 collection pack. And I think this is so pretty. I love this little keyhole. And I haven't inked it, so I'll do that real quick. And you may recall that we don't have any magnets on this page. We're going to use pocket inserts to hold it closed. <clears throat> oh, I just got back from a walk with my dog and I think I'm still a little winded. <laughs>
If you're new to the channel, take a minute to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified every time we have new content on our channel. Also, we do have a Facebook page, uh, Scrap and Create, where people go and share their projects. Um, and we welcome all projects. They don't have to be based on these, but we do ask that you uh, limit your projects um, to papers that we sell in our shop, um, which is Stamperia, Chow Bella, and Graphic 45. Um, we appreciate that. And we are getting quite the following over there, and there is a lot of great content being provided by you guys. So um, even if you don't decide to subscribe, head over there and just take a look at what's going on. Uh, it's a group. Um, if you're interested in joining, just submit it, and I try to get to that at least once a day. Um, there's some great content out there. <clears throat> we have some really talented members. <clears throat> And some of them even have their own channels. Others, they just share on Facebook. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag there. Okay, oh, I forgot to tell you what's up, where that's from. And I think, yeah, it's from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Sorry about that, I should have told you that first. Okay, and then set these aside. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. <clears throat> And that's the flip side. And honestly, I was going back and forth about which side I liked better. But I think I'm gonna go with this. I just think it's a little easier to place photos on this. <clears throat> Although, having said that, I mean, Let's, let's figure out what we're doing on here and that way we know what it's gonna look like. So my plan was to use this one, which is from the Calligraphy Collection, and this one. I just thought they went together really well. So it is, this is the other option. Uh, so the, again, these two squares are from Calligraphy. Everything else up until now has been from Lady Vagabond. So that's what I'm gonna do. So based on this, then I'm gonna make a decision on how that's gonna look. So let's go ahead and get these installed. <clears throat> so the Calligraphy and the Lady Vagabond had both, both of them had these six by six squares. And then um, the Sir Vag Vagabond, uh, the cut aparts were rectangular, <clears throat> I think. I have to go back and look. I don't think there were any square ones. <clears throat> There we go. Lovely. Okay, so now we have a decision to make. This is <clears throat> and then the op and then this is the alternative. Which I I like this. So I'm gonna go with a simpler look. I think I've already inked it yet. <clears throat> I've seen some uh, content out here out on Lady Vagabond, where people have cut, fussy cut the doors open and made them flaps or pockets, and I think that's really a pretty idea, too. <clears throat> Again, this is from the 12 by 12. And then these two, these six by six flaps, well, they're not exactly six by six, but these two flaps are um, cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection. go okay so that is our a sides and then what I did was I um, took two of the cut aparts from the Lady Vagabond collection and I made these into bifold cards which are going to go into this pocket and hold all of this closed and I think I'm going to add another insert but I'm not sure yet it really depends on how much paper I have left after I cover um, 
the second uh, page for Lady Vagabond. So that's it for now. I'm going to take a quick break, and when I get back, we'll have the B-sides laid out. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Okay, I've got um, the last bits lined up for um, the B-sides of page two. So let's go ahead and get those in. I'm just getting ready to sit down. It's a nice, beautiful day here in San Diego. It's quite warm and very dry. A lot of static in the air, so I keep shocking myself. Okay, so I've decided to use this as the main flap cover, and then I've trimmed out these two pieces to go on the inside. And um, I was thinking about doing something interactive here, but it turns out I really don't feel like I have enough paper. So this is from the calligraphy collection, and this is from the 12 by 12 collection of Lady Vagabond. Okay, so. Now let's get the B sides laid out. So we had worked on the A sides and this is the B side. So we need to lay down this top flap, <clears throat> this lower flap, and then the two insides of these flaps. So I'm gonna start by laying down this one. Looks like I need to ink it. I thought I'd done that, but I guess not. Ooh, made a little bit of a mess there. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I need to dry fit that, make sure it's it's right, and it is. Okay, so we're coming to a close on page two of the Lady Vagabond side. This is from Calligraphy, if I didn't say that already. And if you're not crazy about the calligraphy, that's fine. But I can tell you that you are going to need more than just the 8x8 and 12x12 um, Lady Vagabond to, to do this part of the folio. Um, so you'll need another um, either 8x8 or another 12x12 pack to finish, or to have enough paper to cover um, the design as it stands. So you could get another um, lady vagabond or use some coordinating cardstock, something like that. Okay, let me get my ink out. Okay, and this is just a continuation of that 12 by 12 sheet from Calligraphy. Hey, Nola. My puppy came to visit me and she found something interesting in the carpet, so she's kind of digging around. Hey, stuff it. So we got our walk in this morning. So hopefully she will give me a little bit of peace while we finish this up. When I open my window, there's just a little sunspot in the room and she likes to lay right there. There we go, that's coming together. And now I'm going to close these just so I can maneuver a little bit. Okay, so the flip side of these two, I'm actually going to use kind of the framed outside. These are cut aparts from Lady Vagabond. So that's one side, so that's an option. And this is an option. And I'm opting for this just because I think it's easier for photo placement. Um, these are beautiful, but I think it will look a little odd to have only part of a door showing um, underneath a, a photo. Looks like I already inked it, so. to this side. Okay. 
Thanks everybody for being patient on this project. Um, it's a couple of things. One, I just uh, kind of got overwhelmed by the holidays and I've been catching up. But the other thing is um, I'm stalling a little bit because um, we like to have the paper available for any projects that get released. And um, we've already sold out of this collection once, so we were waiting on our paper to get in. But by the time you see this, the paper will be available in uh, in our inventory. Okay, so I like the way that the ink bottle shows with the pins. I think that turned out nicely. This goes like this. And then of course we have these bifolds here. And then over here, we're going to add this and it needs to be trimmed to fit in the clock. Um, so basically I took the width of this page and just uh, split it in half and then cut these two off 12 by 12. So this is from the 12 by 12 Lady Vagabond collection. This is from the 12 by 12 um, calligraphy collection. <clears throat> And I think I'm gonna to have to trim just a sliver off, but I'm not sure. Let's double check. So it looks like they're the right width, but they need to. I need to trim a strip out of the middle. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it sideways so I can get a better better idea of how to what I, how much I want to trim off now because there's a lot of color on the bottom half and it's pretty light on the top half it's kind of heavy toward the bottom so I think I cut both of these yeah both of these are five inches wide and this is nine and three quarters so I need to trim off one of these. I can trim a little bit off both sides and keep it centered, or I can just trim off one, which is easier, and I'm gonna trim off the heavy colored one, and that'll just bring um, a little bit of the weight from the page down visually. So I'm gonna take all the extra off the lower one. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this one on, and then I'm gonna double check my measurement, and then I'm, I need to ink that edge. And then I'm just gonna trim off the bottom one. So the bottom one will be a little bit smaller. The top one's five inches, the other, the bottom is trimmed to fit. And um, I appreciate you guys being patient with me. This is my first folio and I've learned a lot and I know that I'm adjusting my measurements as I go, but that's just part of it because I've not done it before. So you're getting experience right along with me. I know it can be frustrating, so please bring your patience to this project. And I'm going to remind everybody of that in the walkthrough. Okay, now I'm just going to set this in where I want to see it. I'm going to put a tick mark on either side and we're going to trim it to fit. some glue on it and get it down and then we're going to quickly walk through Now, one of the things that this collection had is this large, in the 12 by 12, it has this large fold out, and I am going to insert it into this pocket. I went back and forth about whether or not to mount it on black cardstock, and I've opted against it because I like the fact that it's lined on the inside, and um, 
you can do your journaling on the inside. So I'm gonna leave it as is, just ink my edges, and then put it inside the pocket. Of course you can trim it out and mat it on cardstock if you want, but I'm gonna leave it just like it is and then it's gonna go in this pocket. Okay, so that is it for page two. So let's go through it. Oh, no, it's not. We've gotta still get this piece on. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is gonna be the cover for the uh, page two. I'm gonna lay this open like so. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be page two. It's gonna open like so. You've got these beautiful inserts, and I actually have a couple more cards left, so I am actually going to lay these inside, like so. And we've got this large insert. We've got a flap that goes up. Here's our pocket that flaps down, and then these go left and right. Okay, that is page two. And then while we're still together, I'm gonna to go ahead and do the, the inside of these cards. I hadn't mounted them because I, I was thinking about using them in a waterfall, but I think I'm just gonna put them in the cards as the inside. There's one. And I had already inked these. So a lot of times the first thing I do is I go to my cut apart page, cut everything apart, ink it, um, because I wanna consider those elements in my design um, and design around the size of the cut aparts. Um, and either have flaps that fit them or design elements like these cards. Okay, go ahead and open that up and add these inside like so. That is page two. Thanks everybody for hanging with me. I know it's kind of an unusual project for me. Hopefully you're enjoying this and you're learning along with me. Um, and then I, I do wanna point out that there's a pretty good size gusset here. And I did that because once you fill the pocket, you need it. But also I'm anticipating that there's gonna be photos in here too, which are going to create some additional bulk. So it may feel like it's a little bit too tall right now, but I think once you fill it up with your photos, um, it's still going to be able to close flat and not gap um, or have a slant to it. So that's it for page two. Um, the next time we get together, we're gonna to add page two or one and two to the actual book as well as decorate the cover but right now i'm just going to set this aside thanks everybody for tuning in again this is daphne from scrap and crate see you soon